it's Rachel from the Hot Chocolate Styled Stock Library with a quick tutorial to show you how easy it is to add text overlays to our stock photos and to make them your own. So I'm in Canva, which is what I'm going to use to edit the photo, and I'm just going to go over to create a brand new document and I'm going to click on social media. That is the type of graphic that I want to create. And then when I click on that, Canva is going to open up a brand new canvas for me to edit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my uploads. And I already have my photos in here, but if you don't, just go to upload your own images, click on it, and then find the photo that you want to use or photos that you want to use. And you can just add them um, just by clicking on them. You can select them all and then hit choose. I'm not going to do that because I already have them in here, so I'm just going to hit cancel. So then I have them over here, and I'm just going to click on the one that I want. Canva will drop it in for me. For whatever reason, Canva likes to make these photos smaller than the actual canvas size, so go ahead and just click on one of these circles here to resize it. So click and drag using your mouse. So you can resize it just like this, or if you wanted to have a more zoomed in version, you could always do that. Remember that the hot chocolate stock photos are in high resolution, so you can uh, pretty much make them any size that you would need for your social media or website graphics. Um, you can zoom in and then use whatever part of the image that you want. Now, uh, I think I want it more zoomed out, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller, just sort of fit it right into this square. All right, so once I've placed it the way I want, then all I'm gonna do is hit T on my keyboard. That's gonna give me this text box and then I can start typing. I already have a quote copied to my clipboard, so I'm just gonna hit Command V and this is the quote that I want to use. So what I'm gonna do, obviously I wanna place it somewhere um, along this paper and I wanna change out the font as well. Um, but I probably don't want to have this Leonardo da Vinci part uh, the same font as the actual quote. So I'm just going to um, cut that, click out, and then hit T again, and then Command V. All right, so I've got Leonardo, um, the author of this quote, and the quote on two separate text boxes because what I want to do is use two different fonts. So how to change the font? Simply click here on the text box that you want to change, and then the font box is going to open up here. Click and you can upload your own fonts if you have Canva for work or you can use one of their pre-populated fonts if you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and let's try this one. Obviously it's looking way too small so I'm going to come up here and adjust the font size. That's looking all right. Um, you can also adjust the size of the box. So if you wanted to have more or less text um, on each line, you can do that by just dragging and clicking the size of this box. Now, since my paper is rotated, I'm gonna want to rotate my text a little bit to make it look like it's actually been written on there. So all I do is I click and drag this little rotate button here. And you can sort of align it with the same angle as the paper. And then just um, click and drag your text box and place it where you want it. Now I'm going to just do the same thing for the name. I'll pick a different font. And I'll make that rotation again. It's easy if you just kind of come down to the bottom of the paper so that you can sort of see you know, is it aligned or not? Whoops. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I can just place it wherever I want. I can place this. Can, again, adjust the size if I want to. Maybe I want to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'll place it where I want. If you uh, want to change the color, all you do is click on the text box. Click here to pick a color. They have like a default palette that you can choose from if you have your brand colors uploaded, you'll see them there. Uh, maybe I want to just go with a bit of a gray instead of the black. 
And then one last thing that you can do is if you click here, you get this color wheel and then you can actually choose a different color or if you have a hex code, all you would do is just copy and paste it into here if you have a specific uh, brand color that you want to use. I actually kind of like that purple, so maybe I use that. And then what I do when I'm ready to download, just go to this download button. You have the option of different formats. If you're using it on the web, on social media, your website, um, Instagram, whatever, you can just hit uh, image for web. And then what you want to do is you want to name it something that you're going to remember. Maybe I'm just going to leave the name of the quote for now. And then hit file and save. There you go. That's how easy it is to add a text overlay. And to make it your own, all you have to do, add your brand fonts, use your brand colors. And if you want to, you can always use your website URL as well. All right, hope you found this helpful.